John Bennett here with Logic Pro X. And in this video, I'm going to discuss what happens when you import songs into your project uh, for your remix. And a lot of people get confused about this because in other um, digital audio workstations like Acid or even Ableton, uh, something different happens than what happens in Logic. So Logic actually will not accept um, anything uncompressed into the project. So <clears throat> when you drag an MP3 from your iTunes library, um, like I've showed you how to do before, what happens is Logic will create a .AIF file out of the MP3 and it uncompresses it. Um, so, you know, Logic wants to use only high quality files. Now, having said that, it's garbage in, garbage out. It's a crappy MP3. It's not, it's not that Logic is doing some magic to it. It's just uncompressing the file because it wants to work with only uncompressed files. So it raises the question, where does that, where does that audio go when, when Logic creates a brand new file of it? So I just want to give you an idea. This is a song real quick that I just pulled in. So Akon song that I'm remixing. So if I just have, if I highlight this, this region here and I go to functions and then I can go to show audio file in finder. That opens up my finder window here. And you'll see that these are all the songs I'm doing like an angel remix kind of thing. These are all the songs that have been pulled in in their .AIF files. Notice the file size. They're, you know, Typically, the MP3 is like three or four megabytes. These are very large, 30, 40, even 50 megabytes. So if you look here, it is actually, this is my project folder. And that's another video I'm going to go over. Should you save as packages or folders for Logic Pro X? That's new in Logic Pro X. And I have settled on saving as folders so I can retrieve different pieces a lot easier in search. Um, you spotlight search and everything on the Mac, but I'll do another video on that. So we go under audio files, there they are. Now, what happens inside Logic when you're mixing all the pieces that are in here are referencing files on your hard drive. So if I move that, that angel file out of that folder, when I reopen this project, it, it can't find it, it'll ask you to look for it. So I think in previous versions of Logic, these uh, files were actually saved alongside the original MP3 file. I think that changed um, maybe in Logic 9, but I know that's how it used to be. So all these files are saved in your project folder, which raises another question. If you're going to be reusing the same songs over and over again in different remixes, you could potentially have you know, 10 copies of Angel all at 30, 40 megabytes a piece in different project folders. Just something to keep in mind. Now, in another video inside the VIP area, I'm gonna show you how I'm managing all these large files and what I'm doing with those. And in another video as well, we're gonna be talking about non-destructive versus destructive editing because a lot of functions inside of Logic are non-destructive, but there are some that are destructive. And it's a very important thing to understand. Now, when you go and the first thing most remixers are going to do is time stretch this to fit your grid. So my grid is at 145. This is time stretched. It's doing the work destructively on that file, that angel.aif file that I just showed you. So it's at 145. This is important to understand. A lot of people get confused coming from Ableton or Acid because Ableton or Acid will simply create a, an additional file in the same folder with the song telling the program what it has done to it. It doesn't really actually touch the MP3 itself. So we're working with a, a totally separate thing. It, that's why I can go back to my iTunes library and delete all of the mp3s out of the library leave them in itunes match in the cloud because i can do that and grab them whenever i need them later 
because Logic's not working on those actual MP3s. I hope that helps you out and clarifies some things, and I'll be adding some more videos. If you haven't checked it out, head on over to the site. You got We have a free sign up on LogicProX.net, and then even more detailed, in-depth videos in, in the VIP area.